Um, yeah, show me the lo-fi. As long as it, yeah, should be good. Um, alright. Alright, well, we're gonna be, we're just gonna do this for a couple of hours and then we might go to Phoenix, right? Yeah, no problem. When I get a chance to, I'll go through the link. Um, we'll do advanced setup. Um, actually, what I'm going to do quickly... Do, 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 game options. Yep, just so we have our music going and not the Civ 6 music going. Alrighty. Um, alright. So I always play on Prince because I'm not that good at the game. But I do like playing it. We are going to have an empire. Uh, we're going to start in the ancient era. We're going to do a marathon game speed because I do like marathon game speeds in this. Uh, we're going to do a huge continent so we have many AI players. Uh, and uh, a couple less city-states. So I just like playing on this setting. Um, no score victory. So no turn limits. No teams. You don't get to name it, unfortunately. You get to name the cities, but you don't get to name the... Um, the civilization but we can choose who we want to be um so you got uh, alexander the great from macedonia you got aminatori from nubia you've got catherine from france chunga rupta from india cleopatra from egypt cyrus from persia dido from phoenicia you got eleanor from who was both the queen of france and england uh frederick german Germany, Gandhi from India, Genghis Khan from Mongolia, Gilgamesh from Sumeria, Gitaria from Indonesia, uh, Gorgo from Greece, Har um, Harald Haradra who's from Norway, Hojo from Japan, Chadwiga from Poland, Redbum, <laughs> Barabosa. You wanna go to Germany? I'll go through all of them. Um, Jayavarman the seventh from Kerma. You got John Curtin from Australia. Um, he was our prime minister during World War Two. Um, you got Christina from Sweden. Coupe who uh, Maori, which is New Zealand. Oh, the original. Well, not necessarily New Zealand, but the Maori tribe. Um, Lotaro from Mapuche. Uh, Mansa Musa from Mali. Matthias Corvinus Cor um, from Hungary. Montezuma the Aztec. Um, Mvasa uh, from Congo, uh, Pachacuti, the Inca, Pedro from Brazil, Pericles from Greece, uh, Peter from Russia, Philip II from Spain, Poundmaker from the Cree tribe, Kinshi Huang from China, Robert the Bruce from Scotland, Eladin from Arabia, Shondiok from Korea, Chaka from the Zulu tribe, Suleiman from the Ottomans, Tama from Georgia, Teddy Roosevelt from America, <laughs> Tomiros from South Scythia, um, Caesar Trahan from Rome, Victoria from England, Wilfred Laurier from Canada, and Wilhelmina from the Netherlands. Or we could just go random and just see what the game gives us. I mean, we could do anything, really. I mean, my my obvious favourites are Coupe, the Maori, and John Curtin from Australia. Because that's just my heritage. Yeah, we can go random. Um, do I want diplomatic victory? Yeah, because we won't even get close to fucking diplomacy at this point. Because I am on marathon. I could just go to epic. So it's a slightly longer game, but not taking ages. But I do like marathon. I do like a very, very chill game. Um, fuck it. Let's do it. Who are we going to be? Fix up my my calm. The first stirrings of life. Uh, Quin Chi Huang from the Chinese Empire. Great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. In your people lies your greatest strength, Emperor Quin Chi Huang. From all over the world, others will come to gaze upon the great walls and towering wonders of your united China. May the hands of your men never blister, 
as they work hard and fast. He's extremely dangerous. I don't think he's goofy. I think he's a threat to democracy worldwide. And you will forever be immortalized. He's got massive dictator vibes to him. I absolutely hate him. Alright, so plans Kin Shi Huang. Um, so the first emperor of China, I believe the first one that united the three, I believe the three um, dynasties into a single unified country. Um, Joe is not as dangerous, but Joe is a corporate democrat and they're just as bloody bad because they actually don't do anything. They actually don't put any policies in place to actually help the American people. American politics are in a state of fucking atrocity because they actually don't do anything. The Republicans are going to strip away rights from women and LGBTQIA and do all this basic sort of shit that's going to set the country backwards and the Democrats can't even put together a proper policy to actually enact to help people. If you have to, if you, you forced a gun to my head and said I had to pick between the two of them, I'd take Joe. But Honestly, they're both terrible choices. Um, so yeah, we're the first emperor, so when building wonders, we may spend builder charges to complete 15% of the wonder cost. Builders get an additional charge, they get four charges instead of three. Um, Eurekas give 50% instead of 40%. Plain wonder will receive a Eureka inspiration. <laughs> oh, absolutely we would if we had the ability to. Not joking, like, I, I've always said that if people are in trouble, they could use, uh, if, if, you know, we were aware that you needed a place and we could organize it, we would. Uh, not for a couple of years, because we're just in a financial hole at the moment that we're trying to get out of. Not a hole, but, yeah, I've just got a, we've got a mortgage and a car loan, a new car loan, so we're strapped a bit, but in a couple of years when we get a bigger place, then we've always said that people were more than happy to stay. Provided that obviously Lyca agrees as well. I'm sure she would, but... Alrighty. So, here we are. What have we got? Uh, we've got Rainforest, we've got Copper, we've got Turtles. Ooh, we got Turtles. Uh, okay. Vendian. Is the name of the continent. Well, the Warriors are in a bad position. I really don't want to... Set up there. That's not a great location. We might have to travel north for a... Which is nice. And so that's really nice for her to let, it, um, let you stay with her. Uh, I don't want to take over the stone, so we might... So the river there is looking pretty good, because we do want fresh water. Because that will help with housing. We also want resources around... Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. We've got Amber. We've got Coastline there. We've got Stone here, which is good. Hmm. Thinking, do I set here? I think this is good, but I do. I mean, I'm gonna lose that tile if I set up there, anyways. Uh, I'm gonna take my warrior over and have a look what we've got over here. So we've literally got nothing there. Okay. This would be an interesting position as well because then we've got copper. Yeah. Ah, uh, I, I know the feeling. <laughs> um. Yeah. We're going to set up here. Because we have um, stone here. Um, we can get sailing there. Because we'll probably set up a second. We need to explore off to the right now. There's nothing more out there. Uh, we're going to develop mining. Because we want to mine that. Because that's going to be uh, good resources for us. Yeah. Dude, 
Who have you got? Iris official. Sounds good. I've got a band for you if you want to check them out. They're actually my favorite band, which is Billy Talent. That's my favorite band. Art of an Artist Resurrection and Goliath's Throne. I do like music suggestions, so I will absolutely check them out. Oh, uh, we've got barbarians already. All right, are we on an island? I think we are on an island. Which sucks, so I want to explore here. Oh, we could just be on a peninsula. Uh, I'll get covers in the trees and attack. Because this will at least get me gold. Ugh. Uh, they normally don't... On Prince, they normally don't retaliate. They normally defend. So that's fine. I'll take a hit there to wound them and then I'll heal up. If they do chase me, I can just go back to... Um, Xion. Yeah. Not much I can do because I'm not a military, uh, civ leader. One more turn and then we'll attack again. I will put that on my notepad. Pick that up. Alright, so we should have a scout. Reconnaissance units like scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by ex So yeah, we have a scout now. Um Monument would be good because culture is what we're going to be looking for. Slinger is also very good, but we'll be running short on gold. I do like a builder, but we don't... I mean, we'll have mining by the time that we're there, so they'll increase production. And plus, we'll probably get that resource there as well, and then this resource. So, one and two. Uh, speaking of which, what is actually the next one? It's going for that stone first. Okay, fair enough. So we'll go there, there, and there. So that's what the builder will be helpful for, is to get more production and food there. Um, do, 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 scout. First, we're going to pet the dog. Because you pet the doggo. Because you always pet the doggo. Um, and then we'll go this way around, and we're going to start exploring this side here. Um... Yeah, one more turn. Yes, always pet the doggo. Uh, this is not a great um, opening position. The promotion available is really good. That's what I was looking for because that means I get to heal them. Plus, I'm going to be able to do more damage now. Uh, you can now just automate exploring. So your job is to explore whatever is over here and hope we're not on an island. If we're on an island, we desperately need to get sailing. Alright. Oh, okay. Looking sketchy. He whiffed. Civilization has Alright, so we beat the barbarians at our door. We get three error score. We also get a tradition 50% in 
uh, military tradition since we killed barbarians. We're going to get one more populace. Yes, cool. That did go there. I thought it might. Um, we're going to heal and then bring the warrior back in to protect. Oh, that's terrible. All right, so we're going to have to intercept. We're going to have to play it very close, but yeah, we're on an island. Uh, which is extremely unfortunate. So on the one side is I can stop barbarians spawning by positioning soldiers in a way that means that the map doesn't go back into this unseen view. Um, cause that's the only way that barbarians spawn. The downside is I am very limited on my resources. I only have stone. My only bonus supply of food is the crabs here. Um... Maybe there might be some down here, but that's also by cliff faces, which means I can't use them. Oh, we're in a bad situation. Oh, this is the only other bonus situation here. So we are going to have to get sailing ASAP. Because otherwise we are literally stuck. Um, my scout's going to have to... That also means that I can't get experience for my warriors and scouts either because they're not going to be able to do much. Um, this warrior is now going to start blocking them off. I'm going to fortify to your healed. Find yourself in a hole. Quit digging. All right, so we've unlocked mining. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this because the only other thing I'm gonna think of doing is when we have 360s, I'm gonna unlock a scout, or do I want a slinger? Um, we might get the slinger at 420 because then I can just position them so that maybe barbarians can still spawn, and I can just slowly destroy them. No food there. Ugh, that's annoying. Um, animal husbandry. Not useful because I don't have sheep, uh, cows, horses, or elephants. Um, pottery would be the only other logical choice, but sailing has to be it. And that just that involves forming a city on the coast, which I'll probably do over here. Maybe this tile here. Oh, here I'll form a city on the coast. Yeah. Maybe there's a pathway there? Hmm. Pottery is correct because that gives us the granary, which increases our food and housing. Um, I'm going to let the warrior deal with this. My scout can now move out and probably just double check over here. Yeah, not much I can do here. I've got to wait for my builders as well. Ah, uh, warrior against warrior is not good. Yeah. That's the reason why you got to get rid of the encampments, because otherwise they're just going to spawn. Um, I'm going to fortify here. I'm going to wait for Code of Laws, because if I get Code of Laws, then I can increase my combat strength when fighting barbarians, which should make it a fairer fight. Just double checking there's not like a pathway over here. Like in this tile here. I just realized it's not showing my um You're not showing my cursor on screen. Ah oh, there we go. There we go, now it's showing it. Yeah, I'm just making sure that there's no pathway here. With my scout. There might be actually. Uh, minor victory. I'll take the minor victory. It's also experience. So I'm 
fortify. He's going to keep attacking because they're warriors. They have to. And yeah, I think we've just got that one tile there. And then that's it. It's okay. I can keep the scout here because he can keep an eye. So they can't spawn barbarians there. Get owned. Yeah, keep fortifying. We do have a pathway over here for the rest of the world. Okay. We are not on an island, but we are very much on a single peninsula. Um, there is a scout there. Um, he can't really do anything. He can start attacking this, and if he does, then I can just bring a scout over. Well, I can bring my warrior over, but I kind of want to put the warrior there. Do I want to put another scout? Let's see. Let's see what the um, tribe brings. Cliffs, battlements at crown. Oh, it's White Cliffs of Dover. More than Sabbath peace. Nice. Don't think the scout's going to do much. Yeah, they're just going to keep spawning warriors on me. Um, sweet. The scouts are hill terrains because we've got mountains here. So I think this is going to probably be hilly. Uh, so he can continue his exploration out there so he can explore the world. Um, I do need like a warrior, but... Um, well, Warrior Slinger. Slinger's good, because that means it gives me long range. So if the Scout comes over here, then the Slinger can help. Uh, go forth. Our city-state neighbors have made a request of us. If we can impress them, I think they will reward us handsomely. Uh, so we've met Anshan. Uh, they are going to destroy a barbarian post within five tiles of their city-state. Uh, get lost. I'm going to be worried about my own goddamn peninsula. So yeah, we're just going to fortify constantly. We've got a lot of strength. Um, going to bring the slingers over. That's what I was afraid of. The more that you explore, the more that there's a chance that barbarian outposts can come. Uh, keep fortifying. Mm, I can probably, yeah, do I want to keep the slingers here just in case? That's right. That's a future, future Phoenix problem. Um, do I want to bring a settler in this early? No, I'll bring a monument in. Yeah, I say we bring these two over. Because I'll get money for this, and if need be, I can bring a scout. Uh, go this way. Uh, we've met... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Uh, great scientist in the ancient era. God, you must be dreaming. Code of Laws. Authority that makes a law. So, with your people enthused to try Code of Laws, government and societal policy changes are free this turn. So we can form a government. So this will be a chieftain. Um, we're going to put the discipline in and urban planning. So, we're going to get five extra strength when fighting barbarians and we're going to get extra production in our cities. So I'm going to move them into position. Um, we're going to start mining some stone, which is going to increase our production. Ooh, olives. Um, I get to choose a new civic. So I'm going to look towards craftsmanship. Um, mainly because we do have military tradition available, which is going to give us... Um, flanking support combat bonuses, um, but also puts us towards things like military training for encampments if we need to. 
Uh, so this is very much a... This also gives me state workforce, which is really good because that gives me the government and that gives me the access to political philosophy, which means I can start looking at things like a classical republic, an autocracy, an oligarchy, whatever I want. Um, plus, I'm also going to be able to boost it with three tiles very soon because I have my build already and I'm going to have three tiles that I can improve. Um, so yeah. Uh, back over here. Yeah, they've all moved. So we're going to trap the, the scout. My builder's going to come over here. He's going to do some more mining there. Um, wow, there are a lot of barbarian scouts. Interesting. Uh, this actually works in our favor because we're going to damage them. His scout can't move from this position now. We're going to weaken them. Ooh, a friendly tribal village. We like friendly tribal villages because they give us inspirations. Yeah, I had a feeling that they were going to go after the warriors here, which is fine. Um, because I can just fortify. Um, they're going to kill the warriors here. Okay. Uh, we got a second builder. Um, not useful at the moment, but can be useful. Uh, you can't do anything. You can't move anywhere, so I'll skip your turn. Uh, so fortify. Yeah, that was really dumb because now I can do range strength upgrades. Uh, I'm still going to fortify, so they're going to attack them, but... Um, oh, maybe I should have just attacked anyways. Uh, that's not good. I'm going to lose my... I can potentially lose my scout here if I'm not careful. Ah, uh, good, they haven't attacked. Sweet, I'm just gonna explore this way. Um... Well, this is gonna be a major victory. I'm going to take that so they can't spawn any more... Um, any, they can't spawn any more barbarians. The slinger will fend those ones off. Um... Gonna move the builder over there because this will be the next tile to unlock. <clears throat> Get owned. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. Buttery. Alrighty. Animal husbandry is very good for archery, which is something that we do want to have because we do have a slinger, so we could upgrade them to an archer, which would help us in terms of military strength. Uh, we do have astrology as an option now as well. Sailing is now only 30 turns, which would help. But I would like to found a city on the coast to make that a bit quicker because irrigation might help in future and writing. Uh, we could do writing, but we haven't met another civilization yet. Archery is a good option, so we'll go animal husbandry. Um, you're going to fortify until you're healed. You are going to... You're just going to kill. I like it that they kill the person and the dog just runs away because the dog didn't do anything wrong. 
is we don't kill the doggo. The doggo did nothing wrong. I'll go there. Um, so I'll... Yeah, of course. Uh, I want to bring the slingers over. Uh, you can go to sleep. I'm going to bring him here. So he's going to rest here. Yep, I see them. Not much I can do. So you're going to fortify here. Slinger's going to come over a bit and then going to rest and fortify here. So there's a camp here. Which I might. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Where's my next tile improvement? 10 turns. Yeah, easy. Um, Yeah, fortify here for now. Uh, where is my scout? Okay, that's what we thought. Move the slinger in. I can move them up a little bit closer as well. Okay, we have a second scout. Which actually works in my favor. Because then I can use the, um, the scout to keep an eye on this area as well. So this entire part here can be monitored. Um... Whilst the other scout is exploring. Well, actually, I might swap them over. I can bring the scout here. And then... Bring the slinger over. The reason why is because the scout has better range of vision. And then I have the slinger there available to protect in case anything happens. Yeah, move the scout there. The scout can protect on this side and then bring the slinger here. Then the position him here so I can see. Keep an eye on this. Like that. There we go. Perfect. I have full visibility of the tiles there. Um, so you're going to be on alert. We'll fortify them until healed. Um, fortify until healed. Production. Um, what do we want to build? We can build the granary now, uh, which will help. Because, yeah, well, the settler is interesting now, because the settler we could potentially do. Uh, let me have a look. So we could look to settle here. Very close to Jan, but, or here, I suppose. This is not bad either. Mm, or do we want to go for what's our housing three out of six what's our food supply plus two surplus uh granary is plus one food plus two housing we want to get extra food resources from this when we start that one that's fine and we have the second builder for that as well hmm interesting well, first I'm going to move this builder over to do this, because I think I might go for the Settler.
just so that way I can put the settlement here, move them out so that way they're not just wasting their time there. I can keep the scout there and then move the warrior to help protect this side in case barbarians come and I can start clearing out barbarian encampments there. So this is strategic now, is to block the movements of the scout. The scout, if he wants to venture forward, has to, will be in range of my slinger. And now he's trapped. Uh, I'm going to move this builder back in just to protect him. Uh, so you can go to sleep. Where is my other scout gone? Ah, oh, there he is. Alright, well that... He's probably gonna retreat. If he doesn't retreat, then... If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. That is a good idea. Um, yeah, I can bring the slingers in and make the marches now, I suppose, because I've got the money for it, too. Um, sailing would help as well, though. But I'd like to found a city on the coast first. Because what does archery lead to? It leads to horseback riding, which I don't have any horses. I've got astrology, which will help lead to celestial navigation. Hmm... I think archery is still the better one. We can look at bronze working next as well, potentially, or masonry. Alright, so there's craftsmanship updated. Uh, yeah. Cool. Let's get, uh, yeah, they're effectively trapped. They don't know which direction they can go, so they're going to be sitting there. Also, having two builders is not bad, especially when playing uh, the Chinese Empire, because effectively, uh, they should kill. Because um, effectively, if I start building World Wonders, um, this is going to help me. Having so many builders, because I can basically build wonders quickly, which will be help helpful for cultural victories. Um, yep, he's going to go back around. He's probably going to start exploring up here next. Put them back in. Get them ready for a level up. Fortify them. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. I already have, I don't know what I'm thinking, uh, so I already have two builders, I do not need a third. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate, there seems to be mountain ranges there. Uh, craftsmanship. craftsmanship and gives us many useful objects such as wickerwork picnic baskets um do, 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 do. production towards builders we don't need we're going to keep the faith in gold in the capital we could double the experience for our recon units but i don't think there's a need to um and we're not going to be producing any cavalry or anti-cavalry units uh military tradition is still very on the cards, but a foreign trade is something I'm desperately looking into. Um, we might look at that. Let's see if we can go over here, because I would like to discover another continent if we could, because 
um, foreign trade and having a trader when I'm developing a second city would be very useful. Yes, we have a pathway up there. Good. I um, also need to update like my Twitter and Blue Sky as well. I realize that I'm still saying that I've um, playing Haven. updating my socials, apologies. Alright, so let's go this way. Floodplains, nice. Ooh, Lataro from the Ma uh, Mapuche. Oh, Mapuche, sorry. It's an honor to meet you. I'd love to sample your hospitality. So writing has increased because we have met a foreign state. Um, that's the first other um, civ leader I found. Um, did, 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 did we get anything? We have yet another scout. Um, that's fine. So what we can do now is the scout can come out here now and patrol this area and the slinger... Actually, no, we'll keep the slinger back so we can upgrade him to an archer because then we can look at potentially taking out the outpost. Well, speaking of which... Yeah, I'm going to block to defend that. Um, retreat. <laughs> See if we can come through this way. Truthful, truthful river. Hmm. Nice name. Ow! Throwing stones at me. Got him. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can ask politely to go through here, because yeah, they're they're really all through there, aren't they? And that's the only way I can go through. Um, nope, I did not mean to do that. Well, bugger. All right, so we have settle R. Um, yeah, that's absolutely the only location I can think of. Um, what are we going to build now? The granary? I think the granary is the only other option that we've got because we need more peoples. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. Hey, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to move them there. I'm going to bring the scout back out. I don't know why I accidentally moved them there. Cool. Gonna explore the tundra area. Um, astrology would be good. Writing is absolutely, I think, the next thing that we need to look at because we get to open a university. And now have arches.
And we have the settler, which is going to make their way to there. Good. It's all coming together now. Uh, you're going to fortify until you're healed. You're just going to be on alert. You're just going to explore that area. Not much we can do for the next couple of turns as we just wait. Leventa. Train a spearman. Alrighty. May I make a suggestion? Settling a new city has expanded our civilization. With an empire larger than one city, it is important to keep an eye on the loyalty of our citizens. If loyalty decreases, the city is not as effective. If loyalty drops to zero, the city will declare its independence become a free city. Same can happen to other civilizations. And we've increased our knowledge of sailing. Um, do 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 do. Granary. Uh, we don't have amenities at the moment, but we will get sailing soon. Oh, there is fish there. Great. Fantastic. Happy. That, yeah, well, we'll do sailing next. Um, speaking of which, then, I will get the builder over here. Um, because of this now, the scout can go here and keep an eye there. This warrior can come over here. The archer is almost fully healed. Yes, we don't have amenities. We will have amenities. You're still loyal because you can't lose loyalty to us. You can't you can't be influenced by any other civilization. You're just going to be an alert because there's not much you can do. Now I'm going to bring you forward. You're going to come down here. Um, That's not good. We're going to retreat into Leventa and then we're going to come over this way. Explore. again at some point in the future you volcano danger to our people or an unexpected blessing another city state there oh no it's not alexandros homa kedoni mu basileos ke parao ho aeseto strategos tes elados harua ke ku asperimu it's Alexander the Great. It's an honor to meet you. Come and visit the nearest of my cities. Walk amongst the bustling Agorai of Macedon and see how trade flourishes among my people. Sure thing. Um, how many charges do you have? You have three charges. Yeah. So... Uh, you're going to be on alert. Going to mine. Um, hmm. Well... I don't think Alexander the Great's so great. I think his city's about to be raided by barbarians. Good luck with that, mate. That's not as that's yeah, that's his capital. As well. Have fun. <laughs> um 
not much I can do. I'm going to put them here just so I can get these two when they expand out. Um, who needs orders? You do. Let's go explore down here. Well, that's the edge of the world. I'm thinking, do I actually need this warrior? I might not. Um, I might delete the unit. Um, the reason why is I'm going to save costs. Got him. Um, I can probably get rid of this scout here too. Because it's unlikely that a encampment's going to be there. But if one does appear, then I do want to keep that just in case. So the archer's going to go in and take that. The next turn. Um... Yeah, back them next turn to get some more experience for the scout. Oh, he ran away. Coward. Alrighty, we're looking very good for error score as well. We're 17 out of 30 down here. Um... Looking very strong. Uh, we're going to get writing in the next turn. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. <laughs> Alright, so we get campuses, which is really good. Sailing is the next one on our list, though. This should be a major victory, right? Yeah. They're going to attack because they get a free attack too, but we get to defend. Unlike Slingers, Slingers don't get to defend. No, they don't defend as well as Archers do, so... Easy. Yes, I know we do not have amenities. I'm going to bring the archer back into the woods here, so he'll be our first line of defense into our peninsula. And that means we cannot be... we cannot have barbarians spawn anywhere up until about here, I believe. So... So we are good. And we have a fairly sizable army. Not strong, but we have a sizable army. Yeah. I was about to say, it's not a strong army, and I knew Alexander was going to hate me for it. So all the Civ leaders have agendas. Um, if you conflict with them on agendas, they hate you for it. Um, one of his major agendas is that you need to have a strong army. Um, do, 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 do. Where do I want to put the university? I want to put it here, because the mountain range is very useful for a university. Or for a campus. Uh, plus the two plus in science is really good too. Um, since we have that now available, I'm going to farm that. Gotta wait seven more turns until we have sailing and then I can get some amenities. Irrigation has now been boosted because we farmed a resource, which is good. That's what I was looking for. Uh, the builder still has one more charge, which is good, so that means we could potentially get Amber, which is another luxury resource. So luxury resources are good for amenities, which is the loyalty or the happiness of your people. Uh, they're also good for trading, because especially if you have um, other civilizations that need to keep their, um, their people happy and loyal because they have loyalty pressures from religious reasons for other civs, they're going to ask you for it. And so therefore you can go, you know what, I will give you some of my luxury resources, but you have to give me gold or something else in return for it, which helps. 
helps boost that. Oh my god, there's a lot of cotton here. Uh, fortify to your heals. I don't know if there's much more we can explore. Maybe, again, it's just up here we can explore. Because that, that's coastline, that's coastline, that's coastline all the way down there. That has to be coastline through here, so there's not much here for me to explore. I can probably explore that with a sail vessel. That's coastline through there. There might be a pathway up through here. This might be a lake, but I have a feeling that's coastline. So... Yeah, potentially the only way up would be through there. So that's potentially what we could look at doing. No, nope, that's coast as well, I think. Alright, so this is our small continent. There is only one other civilization on this continent. Oh, there's two civilizations on this continent. Um, which is interesting. Uh, which means that... Okay, so I can probably go in up to around here. There's a lot of good resources here. I can probably get. So next one would probably be... Hmm, where do I want to build my next? I can put a... Uh, do I want to put a city here? Because, yeah, I probably want to because there's copper. Build a city here. Get the copper. Get the luxury resources that I can trade. And then maybe come out here for my fourth one. We do have Anshan here, which will put loyalty pressure on, but... With enough luxury resources here, we should be fine. And then potentially down here. Alright, we don't have a lot of strategic resources though. That's the problem. Um, we don't know where the iron or the niter is, so we could be okay in later stages. But for now, we... Hmm, we might be a bit st stuck. Well, that's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Foreign trade. Uh, we can now trade. Um, do we want to keep production in all cities? Yes. Do we really need to go combat strength? No. We might look at production towards naval units. Uh, because that's one of the things I will be looking at doing next. Um, once we get sailing. I just want to double check that there is nothing but water. Yeah. So we've explored pretty much everything here. There is a pathway up here, but I don't think that's leading anywhere. We could check. I mean, there's no harm in checking. I think that's probably the next thing that we'll look at then is see if we can get up here. Um, what do we want to do next for the civics? State workforce will be the next one. Um, we don't really need to do military tradition at the moment. We're not at war. We don't think that we're going to be doing much in terms of warring because we're not on a overly crowded area with other civs. So we should be fine with that. We can start looking at state workforce because we will build a specialty district. We are bringing a campus in, uh, which will boost that. Um... That also means we get a governor, which is really important. Uh, also means we get the government building as well. Uh, we can also get a trader now. Um, which would be actually very helpful in this situation. Plus 3 surplus to food, plus 1.7 surplus to food, which is good. Um, what is the population doing? Uh, so the three that we've got are doing production. Yeah, fair enough. We have plenty of food supply here, so the next um, citizen that comes in will probably work that, which means that we're good for food and housing for a bit. What have we got here? Yeah, production mainly. we got plenty of food, though, around. Because uh, we'll get this, which is a good resource, uh, but we also have this, which will be a fantastic resource as well. 92 turns until border growth, though, is a bit unsettling. Can we speed this up? Do we want to speed this up? Potentially. I'd say yes, because more food here. More production, though. But we do want to... That 1.7 surplus is going to go down really quickly. Um... We'll buy that.
Yes, I know the amenities. I'm going to get turtles soon. It is not that life ashore is distasteful to me, but life at sea is better. The Francis Drake. Um, research. All right, what do we got? Uh, irrigation astrology would be good. Um, bronze working. Hmm. Celestial navigation would be good, but that's still 72 turns. I mean, irrigation would help because the hanging gardens would be really good. Yeah, I might do that. But yeah. Astrology would be the next one. Uh, though I think bronze working might be really good as well. Hmm. That does, we can then have a look to see where iron is and whether we're in a good position or not. Hmm. Wonders is, because, yeah, it's it's 15, increases growth by 15% in all cities, which is really positive for us. I think we have to go for that, because we are also playing as the Chinese Empire, so wonder building is definitely our strong suit. So we do need to look at that. Um, because we can do that, we can now do this. We can now fish that. Uh, which solves the... Um, amenity problem in Huangzhou. And then we can go for the fishies. Yeah, so that is an absolute, so that's just a lake. Alright, we've explored everything. Um, yeah, just keep exploring. Scout, just own experience exploring. There's not much we can do. Celestial navigation has increased. The builder is now spent. Um, yeah, much better. So, yeah. We have gone away from production for a bit, but basically that's really good because we've sped up the population growth. And then that will go there. Yeah, so you can see that now that's gone back down to 16 because, yeah, we've got food there. We're going to start growing. Guangzhou is going to grow very quickly now, which is good. Um, I think that is all that we can look at doing for a while, so we're just going to be hitting next turn for a bit. <clears throat> What food did you get, Aya? Because you got me curious. Boy's gonna lean back in his chair onto the side. Thousands have lived. Oh, irrigation's water. done. Not one without water. All right. Um, I think we said we're gonna do bronze working. Masonry is really good as well because it does give us oh that does give us the Great Wall. Because that is our cultural. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do masonry because we've got a lot of stone. We got a ton of stone. 
Alright, state workforce, because that's our campus. Uh, I'm going to build the hanging gardens there. No, it's the wee shop. I've been talking the entire time, Alexander. What the fuck are you on? Ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we don't want to do... Actually, what I might do... We are beginning to attract the attention of the great people of the world. Ew. Of course, there are other leaders vying for their attention too. The more specialized districts we construct, the more we will draw in specialized great people to share their talents with our civilization. So we're going to uh, crew great scientists, which is good. Uh, we're going to add our production to the wonder. So that's going to speed that up because we can. And there's not really much more that that um, builder can do at the moment, so... Oi! Well, speaking of which, I want to take another builder. Thank you. Ha! Ah. Mine now. Ooh, I'm, I'm not very healthy, though. Um, I could probably get back. Yeah, I can get back. And Shen, give me free package. Please. I'm weak. Wait, no. I forgot to link them. Shit. Well, that's fine. You fortify. The builders will come to you. Which is good. Now that I've, got, I've got extra builders. That's good. Link. I need that builder to move. I need that builder to move so I can go through their packet their there. They're not gonna move them, are they? Bricks. Um what are we gonna do? Traders, good galley is actually what we're looking for. Yeah, we need to get some galleys. Uh, monuments interesting. Uh, yeah, you can't build that there. The campus will go there. But yeah, galleys actually very important because then I can start maybe discovering new continents. Yeah, it's Harald the Viking. Where did you come from? You probably came from the sea because you're a Viking. We now have the opportunity to appoint a governor to our civilization. This governor will be a powerful and productive asset when assigned to one of our cities. I suggest we choose a candidate as soon as possible. We are now ready to choose where to build our government buildings. We may only zone one of these in our empire, so choose carefully. Oh, it's Shovel Knight. I was wondering why it sounded familiar. Um, I'm thinking of the Surveyor because... Or do I want to go Pangala the Educator? Hmm... Need more um, science and culture. Established there. Once established, their talents will come into effect, strengthening our rule bear. A strong economy begins with a strong, 
well-educated workforce. Hells yeah, it does. Well-educated workforce. That's the key thing. Um, there were units I still want to do. Um, production towards ancient and classical wonders is the big thing. That's a really, really key part of what we need to do. Because we want to build wonders and a lot of them. Um, early empire is probably the next correct one because then get that gives me political philo philosophy. I was about to say philosoph philosophical. Well, ah, uh, yeah, early empire. Um, and the main reason for that is because we're about to hit six population in five turns. Well, actually, hit seven in five turns. That should be good. Um, they still have not moved. Um, yeah, I need to find a way to get them back here. I have to probably go through here and be very careful. Uh, I'm going to fortify until I'm healed and then try and see if I can sneak through this way. Uh, we can build the Great Wall. Building walls around our when wasteful war shall statues overturn, and broils root out the work of masonry. I'm all here just to listen to Sean Bean commentate on great uh, quotes from the great people of the world. Um, yeah, bronze working is the only other thing I can think of at the moment because I do not have the ability to do much else. Again, it will help to learn um, where iron is in this world, if there is iron on this continent. Early Empire. Fantastic. More amenities. Yes, that will happen. Cool. I get to flee. There's no soldiers around, so I can still... They'll attack me, but I'll be able to flee. Oh, they didn't attack. Sweet. Yeah, we're good. Uh, that's still a mountain range. Please let there be a pathway. Oh, please let there be a pathway. Please let there be a pathway. And our met city state has been defeated. There's not a pathway. Um, I think I'm going to lose my scout here. I'm working on it. I'm building a galley. Uh, bitch. Well, because Anshan's controlled the only passageway through the mountain ranges. They've got a builder there. Um, we might be able to get away. We might. Nah, because the spearmen will uh, kill me on sight. I think the spearmen will kill me. Yep. Unfortunate. There was just no pathway. Bronze is the mirror of the form. Wine. Ah. That's unfortunate. Not much I could do there. I really want to get that builder back. But. Yeah, there was no pathway. 
to easily do it. Um, alright. What have we got? Uh, we have the wheel. Which will help with engineering. Or we can go astrology because we do have celestial navigation. So astrology because we can do celestial navigation, which is the next best option. Uh, do we have any... Uh, iron. Uh, no. Okay, good to know that we don't have any bloody iron. Um, I'm gonna move my this scout out. Uh, I'm gonna swap my scouts out. This one can come in and have a look here. Cause this is the reason why I have backups. I have backup scouts for this exact reason. Yes, I know. I was hoping I can get a builder in to be able to fix that. I've got the resources there. Galley! Yay! Do we build another one? Um, probably not. Um, we might be able to because that will actually help. If we have two galleys, let me just think. Because then that increases shipbuilding, right? Yeah, that means we can build the Colossus. Um, and we can get a quadra a quadra aim. And allows all land units to embark, which is really good, because that means I can start... Celestial Navigation's good, because that means I can start, um... I believe that allows me to do deep sea stuff. Yeah, I can basically start... Going further out in land, or was that shipbuilding? Was that further down? Nah, cartography allows me to do that. Was it square rigging? One of them allows me to go into deep sea. I believe it was celestial navigation, but anyways, celestial navigation is really good. So yeah, we'll do astrology. Um, and then if we get another galley, then that gives us shipbuilding, which I think is the next thing that we need to look at doing. A trader does help, but I think I can... How much is it to buy one? Uh, 635, but I'm... A, yeah, I've got to... Wasting way too much money. Because I'm not actually using much money because they're costing me an arm and a leg. I mean, do I really need to explore? I don't think so, right? There's no real need for me to explore much. I do want to have an archer just in case. Um. Hmm. Need to save money somewhere. A trader, I think, then is the next smart option. Uh, you can go explore. Might see if I can just, uh, I mean, I don't think I have anything really to trade. That's the other unfortunate thing. There's not much in terms of trading. Oh, there's a hurricane coming. to enhance our powers of governance All right. we can use it to promote one of our existing governors um this is when we are going to bring in yang it was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the roman empire with air conditioning their windows were shut they couldn't hear the barbarians <laughs> coming so we're gonna change our policies because we don't need any more of those. We are going to do, 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 do with garrison units or unit maintenance for cost is reduced by one. Absolutely, we need to do that. Um, we're not gonna purchase any more tiles. Settlers is an interesting one. Mm. But I like having the wonder production. That's gonna help and that increases our gold output, which is good. 
uh, political philosophy is the one we absolutely need to look at now. Because uh, we need more policies. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. Ah, Hippocrates. Celestial navigation, because we are going to build a harbour next. So once we do the trader, we're going to have a harbour. The ascent to the highest story is by stairs, gardens is finished. and at their side are water engines, by means of which persons, appointed expressly for the purpose, are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. That would have been such a beautiful thing to witness in real life. And this is the reason why we build wonders, is because we get Eurekas and Inspirations. Uh, Stonehenge does not work for us. Um, can't build Temple of Artemis because we don't have an encampment. Uh, we don't have a floodplain. We don't have... Um, desert tiles. Um, I believe in this situation, this is where we get our builder. Because the builder is important. Or actually, do we do that or do we do the government building? No, we don't do the government building at the moment. We'll keep that one for a city further out. Like one out here, we'll probably put one in because then that's going to help with loyalty. Um, yeah, we, we, we're not building a religion, so no. Uh, library would be good because it does increase the science output, but I believe, yeah, the, the builder is the correct option here because I need to, because I've got more stuff I can build. Plus I need to fix the amenities because god damn it. No, it's no way. Going neither way or Norway? Nah. I'm not happy with that joke at all. I'm going to scrap that one from the record. Yes, I know. I know. I know you're not happy with the amenities. We are going to fix that. Wait, like eight more turns. This is a nice chill chill night though. I needed a nice relaxing night. And this is typically like, I'm not gonna lie, this is typically one of the games I do play when I want to relax after work. If I'm not doing speedrun testing, or if I'm not doing like planning on anything, I literally just sit and play Civilization 6 for hours on end. Like any kind of like these slow like comfort games, that and like Legend of Zelda, like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom is another one. That was another one that I was thinking of maybe doing on stream. Just to sit back and relax to. I mean, what are those, I mean, what are those everyone else's comfort games? This is Sonic, isn't it? It is, it's Sonic 2. Oh, shut up. Come fight me then. Come fight me on my goddamn peninsula, I dare you. Come across the continent and fight me. You won't because you're a coward. I need more gold. This will help. Farming this will help with gold. Um, do I want to bring a settler in now? Um, and do I want to position them here? That's the next question. 
because I do want more luxury resources. And then that gives me access to try and bring uh, another one here. But I, yeah, there's no real need because I don't know if there's any good, like, where any good resources are. If I was to build a government plaza, I mean, here wouldn't be bad either because there's not really much around in terms of food and production. Um, and therefore I can probably build a lot more around it too. So if I go back here, so the government plaza, a district placed once in your empire to commemorate your government choices, eight loyalty per turn of the city, and an increase of plus one to adjacent bonuses by er, being earned by adjacent districts, which would help. This is gonna be basically my capital, cap, uh, cap, cat, capital, wow, capital. Yeah, we'll put that there because we'll probably put a theater district here. There'll probably be other things that we'll be building around it. Um, as much as I would have liked to have put a campus there, the campus being here is gonna help with some other things. Oh, where have barbarians formed? Nowhere near me. Good, they can sit there. Because again, with only four population, I don't really want to drop it much. Um, there's another one that spawned over. Yeah, attack, attack Alexander. He wants a fight. Alexander the Great's begging for a fight. That's gonna fix the amenity problem. That should hopefully fix the amenity problem. Um, and then they can come and start farming stone. Um. Hey, we're getting tourists. Those are our hanging gardens. mini player open now hey trader finally thank christ in addition to bringing riches to our civilization this trade route will gradually develop roads between our cities roads allow our units to no longer be impaired by the difficult terrain through which they pass it's going to help currency has uh evolved as well um so this is now an interesting point is where do we want to put the campus I mean, so here's is what I was thinking originally, anyways. Um, but what else can we build? Um, monument would be good because it increases our culture. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I'm not going to be too hasty in regards to. That. We have entered the classical era because we have learned celestial navigation. A course by the stars. Hell yeah. Not by the lights of every passing ship. Mine some stone. Uh, what are what are we working on? Yep, that's good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. What are we working on here, though? I'm hoping with one more um, citizen that we start working on that because that's going to help us. Um, so what are we going to look at next? Uh, the wheel is very important. Currency is very important, too. I think the wheel has to be the next one. Because engineering helps. We haven't got... Um, yeah, we don't have iron to work on that. Currency helps because that gives us all commercial hub, actually. 
Mm, no, wheel first then currency. Because I want to build this first and then once I build that, then I can build the commercial hub here. Um, is there anything else for you to do, Mr. Builder, with two more builds? When are we... what's our next tile? Uh, it will be that in 32 turns. Um, yeah, I don't think there is much more we can do. So, you can just chill. You can go sleep. Be a neepy boy, go sleep. Civilizations have uncovered new technologies and civics, and soon the world itself will reach the dawn of a new era. Our actions in this era may lead us into a golden age for our civilization, or perhaps darker days lie ahead. Alright, so a couple of us have entered the classical era, so that means that we are now moving forward in history. So we won't get a golden age, which is unfortunate, but to be expected. You don't want to peak too early with a golden age anyways. Um, classical era will help because it means that, um, because we can still get some classical era um, wonders. Uh, the big thing is that I'm going to look at is after, oh yeah, after the wheel, we should look at potentially getting the Colossus. Because that's going to help us as well. So... May I suggest that we construct a government building to memorialize and strengthen our current government? Um... We can. Um... Yeah, so we have the Great Lighthouse, um, so we need to have a harbour, so that will probably be the next thing that we build here will be a harbour, which will be there. Um, do we want to get the Settler in now? I think the Settler now is the right choice, or the Library. Um, we'll go Settler. Um, so Armani is going to be the next one, because we're going to give them to... Um, Ashan. Uh, because we want to be the suzerain. Uh, because that will give us, yeah, extra two science for every library building, because that's the next thing that we'll be looking at as well here. We'll be getting the library. How dare you? Get sunk, nerd. I oh, know they're fighting back. Currency is the next one. We'll go. This should give him a promotion. No, no promotion. Really? Interesting. Well, I hope I don't get attacked. Well, retreat. <laughs> So the first suzerain of the world for them, which is good. Uh, I cannot heal outside of friendly territories. You're still gonna, you're just gonna sit there, aren't you? 
I'm gonna see if I can try and avoid them and go around them. They'll probably find me and sink me. I'm hoping not. There's two of them. Oh well. That's fine. The time has come to choose which of our comp history marches forward. All right, so we've entered the classical era. Now we get to choose. The opportunity has arrived for a change into a new and more powerful. Oh, we've got a lot that we can do. All right, so we've got era dedications that we can do. Politics is the art of the possible. And we've unlocked a new form of government. So. We can either go for an autocracy, um, a classical republic, or an oligarchy. Uh, we'll most likely go for an autocracy because, again, it's 10 production towards wonders, uh, which is the big thing that we're looking for. If we managed to get this like just before the era change, we would have been in a golden age, but. Um, we're going to change this back to this. Now, the reason for that is because we need to build more naval units again. Um, uh, two influence points for earning city-state envoys because we won't find new city-states for a while. So I want to try and build ones that we can now at the moment. I'm just going to have to sneeze. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, now we can put production towards settlers or we can put it towards builders. I'm thinking builders. Uh, so we're gonna make dedications. So um, yeah, they're in a golden age because they absolutely will always do. They're in a normal age. Alexander's in a dark age because he's being ravaged by barbarians because he's war hungry. Um, free inquiry. Gain one error score each time you trigger Eureka. Gain one error score every time you trigger an inspiration. Monumentality would be really good because I'm going to be doing a lot of new districts. But Inquiry is also very good because I will trigger a whole bunch of them with the wonders I'm looking to build as well. I, will remain by your side. Mm, I think we will go... Take this with you. Uh, free Inquiry. Drama and Poetry, Build a Wonder, Mysticism, Military Tradition. Um, well, let's go back here and have a look at these ones. Mysticism will never do because Theology doesn't really do much. Because uh, we're not going to go down that route. Simple and it's as simple as that. Military Tradition. It will help if we want to go for a Merchant Republic. But it's unlikely. We will most likely go... Yeah, drama poetry, because again, that's a new specialty district for us. Should have gone district. Oh, yes, yes, I know. Just buy one. Yeah, I know. Not much I can do with the position that I'm in here. Um, how much does it cost? 780? Will take a while. I mean, do we go campus or we just build another galley? Hmm. We'll see. Because, yeah, the, the same thing is that we're going to have a problem with that too there. So, galley would be 18. Nah, we need a harbour. We absolutely need a harbour because that will also help with um, housing as well. Oh, thank you for the delegation. I should really send delegations to them as well. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I don't have the monies for it. I need more monies. 
Um, but that's the other reason why I want to build a, like, a city here. Um, is that it gives me the opportunity to try and, like, get trade routes here as well. They need housing, right? It was two turns away, but they'll still that will still come into effect next turn anyways. In the next two turns. Cause then what I can do Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Okay. Um, so this is now where we get stuck. Mathematics is probably the correct one. So shipbuilding helps because this gives us Colossus. Yeah, shipbuilding. We need to own two galleys as well. Mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. So we're not gonna change this. Um construction technology, what do I need for that? That is there. Which is behind horseback riding. Of course it is. Um, we can build a water mill. Or oh, iron working would actually also really help. It does that ward six iron per turn. Because we will need iron eventually. Um, that's fine. Horseback riding we can get to anyways. Like we can make we can make this all work. Shipbuilding I think is the most important one. Um, yeah, might as well do the military tradition now because it's just an easy one to do. It's only five turns whilst I think about what we're doing. Uh, that's gonna help the housing problem for a little bit. Also, will help increase the gold as well. Good do. Yeah, we're mainly into production and not much into gold, are we? I mean, that's only giving me one production. And the food is not an issue. Yeah, I don't mind if we spend some time there. We need some more gold. Um... Oh, where have they spawned? Yeah, that's fine. Housing amenities, yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Set alarm. Um, you're gonna make your way over with the settler over here because you're gonna have to do these two. Um, what are we gonna do? Audience chamber is really good. I think the audience chamber is actually the correct one. Watermill is really good because that's actually going to help me. Watermill is good because that's going to give me a scientific inspiration as well. And then we can build the government building. That's going to help with amenities and housing. 
I should have done that first, shouldn't have I? That's right. I can change that. I'm gonna change that. Bravery is being the only one who knows you're afraid. Um do 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 Um Cause that will help too. What do we want this to build? Uh, what can we get from a camp? The campus here would actually be really, really good. Not gonna lie. Um, it's gonna take 219 turns for now, but it won't be that for long. Uh, the archer can now come out further. Um, which means that this scout now is effectively useless. Um, I will still keep him though, because I think I can upgrade him. Oh, you can't even defend your own goddamn people. Don't you dare throw rocks. You have to go through the cliffs of Dover and the goddamn mountain range that I've got here. No one's going to be able to get through anything, especially now I've got my archers here. I need another builder. Damn it. I need one more amenity. How much do builders cost now? 800? 740. Alright. Yeah, that's not too bad. And quickly say thank you for everyone that's been hanging out. Hope you're having a nice chill evening or day, depending on where you are. A nice comfy casual stream. Unfortunately we couldn't get Haven working because unfortunately um Yeah, unfortunately uh it was removed from the PS store and I was not aware of it. So uh you want one of my turtles for four Gold for 30 turns. Actually, that's not bad. And open borders. Mm. Nah. It would make it 11 to close to 12 per turn, but it's not I worth it. We have an envoy at our disposal. We can use the envoy to gain favor with the city state. Um, so on the suzerain, the Lautaro is there for faith. I don't need faith. That's reduction. Mm, no, 
increase with um, Anshan because we want that one. Because when we get the universities and stuff, it's going to expand. I mean, if maybe we can just manipulate it so we can get more gold anyways. So I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, so unfortunately we weren't able to get Haven working because it was removed from the PS store. And yeah, I haven't bought the game. I'll probably buy it later in the week if I get the chance to. Uh, the upper Donna is now really interesting. It does remove the rainforest tile, unfortunately. But we have plenty of rainforest here that we're not going to touch. So if we need to, we'll have rainforest stuff here that's going to be really useful if we do go down uh, conservatism. We don't need to, but it's there if we need to. So yeah. I'll probably buy uh, Haven later in the week, so we can finish that off next week. Um, and as I said, this is a nice, chill, relaxing sort of stream, so hopefully you're just here to nice, have a nice, chill and vibe session. Just relax. Not necessarily ASMR, because yeah, I don't have a voice for ASMR. Watch this number go down from 183 to like 100. On 21, yep. Because uh, they're going to be working on that, yeah, food. So yeah, it won't take 180 turns. This will probably take about 60 turns, which is fine. Um, having a university, a second, um, a second campus there is not bad. And our gold is increasing as well as we get more workers. Handan needs more. That's fine because we can purchase the granary, which is uh, I think what I might look at doing because it's housing and food. Instead of a builder. As much as I w do want a builder, I think I can get away with not having one. For a little bit. Because then if need be, I can like get a builder here. Um, from the harbour. Uh, from um, Guangzhou. Geneva has just declared war on Norway. And what the fuck has Norway done? I am going to blame Norway in this situation. I'm absolutely blaming Harald for this. Yay! We have a harbour. And we got a Eureka bonus for that because it boosts mathematics. Um, do, 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 do. campus would be funny because that would help. Um, yeah, I think I'll go builder here. Let me just think. Builder here because we want that for the amenities. We want that. We get two extra charges. We can boost the Apadana Wanda as well. Yeah, builder is the correct choice here. So... Handan should be okay for housing for a little bit. Guangzhou needs housing as well. Um, do, 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 do. Lighthouse would also be the correct next thing for me to get. And Amit City State has been defeated. I'm assuming Geneva.
It's definitely not from Kingdom Hearts 3, that is from Kingdom Hearts 2. That's where Riku um, reveals himself to Sora. This is Don't Think Twice though, which is from Kingdom Hearts 3. They just took the audio from Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, so I'm a Kingdom Hearts nerd. Leave me alone. Oh, Alexander's gone to war with Leventa. Crazy Macedonian bastard. I cannot imagine any condition Shipbuilding! Was a ship to founder. Modern we can build the Colossus as well. The games and recreation has been done too. Nice. Um, one housing for all with at least two specialty districts. Um, nope, we should be good. I mean, I could probably change this to that. So we're not building any navy units. This will increase my gold output as well. Um, mathematics is absolutely the next thing we look at doing, and then the next thing we'll look at doing, uh, we can't, we won't be, unless someone declares war on us, we're not going to do military training, recorded history, we will, oh, we're not going to get that done in time either, because that's still at 106, isn't it? Mm. No, it could be done in time. Maybe. What does defensive tactics gives me? Feudalism? Navy tradition, civil service though. Yeah, we do recorded history. <sighs> Temple of Artemis has been built, which is fine. Venta has been defeated. Yeah. Shock. No, not really. Definitely not a shock. Um, where's the lighthouse? Building the lighthouse, because that's gonna help with the housing. Um, we are going to go sailing this way. because uh, we're gonna get the resources there. Uh we're also just gonna help with the Apadana as well. Yes, I know. Keep, stop. Don't you remind me every bloody three seconds. Builders, get there. We need the amenities. Oh, we could build the Great Wall. Oh, that's not too far away from me. I could probably hunt that one down. Um, so that's going to help with there. Yeah, I figured that's absolutely going to help there. Um. The Great Wall would be interesting because it does help with the culture. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to help build the Apodon. Oh good, that trade's been done. Um, fantastic. What we are now going to do is we're going to change you to Handan.
And then we're gonna go hand on to Sean. So that gives me more food and that gives me more production there. They can't produce much more anyways, so like they're stuck at the moment. The lighthouse is going to be built. We can't grow the population that much, which is fine. I don't mind the population stalling for a little bit. Um, I do want to look at the housing here though, if we can. Good, we haven't built Stonehenge. Good, I was a bit worried. Hey, mathematics. Petra would be nice, but we don't have any desert tiles near us. You mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Um, what are we going to do? I think iron working was the next one we're going to look at. No horseback riding because we want construction. Yeah. No, oh, no, iron works. No, no, construction. No, horseback riding is correct. We want horseback riding. Let's see if it's done. It's close to being done. Sister Darius made this Apadana, but it was burnt down by the grace of Ahura Mazda, Anahita, and Mithra. I reconstructed this Apadana. Okay, so horseback riding has advanced considerably, defensive tactics has advanced considerably as a result. Fantastic, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Um, production that we're going to do here now do we go for the audience chamber? Yes. Uh, we're going to keep sending envoys to Ashan. So we want the audience chamber because that's also going to fix the housing crisis that we're having at the moment. Um, uh, do we want to start building the Great Wall? I don't think so. I don't think just yet. We can build a great wall out here. <laughs> Completely isolate ourselves. It'd be like the Forbidden City. Just locked. Um... It does give me two gold. Um... Just a question of whether or not that's worth it. Um, do, 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 do. Granary is... How much does that cost me? 780, right? One food, two housing. Yeah. Uh, I think you can go to sleep for now. I don't think there's a need for me to build the Great Walls yet. As I said, I think it would be more worthwhile if I go out there and do it. Uh, that's on the other side of the goddamn planet compared to me. Oh, you can get, get fucked. One gold for a turtle? Uh, the build, this builder has two charges left, right? Sweet. Um, I might actually bring him over here because I think what we're going to construct next is the Colossus. Uh, and if we do that, I want him to help build that quickly. Yes, I knew. We will fix that shortly. The lighthouse will help. 
Uh, why aren't you aren't working on construction? Hang on, let's have a look at this. Why... Ah, uh, I mean, the gold is really helpful, and the appeal. Hmm. It is helping with that, absolutely. So, yeah, fair enough. So, recorded history will come through quicker anyways as a result. No hour of life is wasted. Um, do 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 construction. Yep. Um, do 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 do. You're just gonna sleep for now, because we're gonna build the Colossus here. Because he's got no other use at the moment. Five gold. Hmm, for a turtle. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Um, I don't have any plantations. Um, fishing boats, because I got plenty of those. Yay, more production. Quicker production too. Not that I really needed that. I was not really that considered about getting a Pantheon because we're not doing like a... Gotta fix my cat boy. Um, we're not doing too much in regards to that. Hey, Porsche. How you going? How's the, um... How's the healing on the piercing going? Good, good. Coming in and joining a nice comfy Civ 6 stream, because, uh... Haven was not working because it got pulled from the PS Plus subscription, which is annoying because I didn't get to finish it. I'll have to buy it later. Ah, good, good. Good to hear. Yeah, keep it up for a couple more days. Just let it fully heal over. Because the scab's going to convert into skin, and then once it's done that, then it should be all good. Uh, I can create another trade route. Fantastic. Uh, I'll probably buy another trader soon. Uh, actually, no, I can probably get a trader here and just go into Anshan from here. Um, I do want to build the... Do I want to build the Colossus or the Great Lighthouse? No, the Colossus. I'm going to build the Colossus. So I want the extra trader out. Uh, with 488 gold, how much does a trader cost? 765. Cool. All good. Um, um, I'm not going to send an envoy at the moment. I'm going to wait until I find some more city-states. So now we've got gold production going really nicely. I can probably look at changing up this up now because I had that locked which I do not need but we're still gonna have that there because it's food which makes sense
but it gives them the freedom now to manipulate that how they want. Uh, the government, the audience chamber is going to be good because that's going to fix the housing and amenity crisis. Completing the construction of this building has inspired our policymakers. If we choose to institute this new policy in our government, it could greatly help our people. Create with the heart, build with the mind. I've lived through some terrible things in my life, some of which actually happened. <laughs> um, ancient classical wonders will still keep that. Builders when don't need that anymore. So, 100% campus adjacency bonus is good because we want that. Um, influence points we still want. Unit maintenance, I think. Hmm, we still keep that because we don't really have anything else that we need to look at from this perspective here. So that is good for now. Um, research. Um, a buttress. Um, um, all right, what are we, uh, iron working, we need to look at iron working. That is important. Mysticism we don't need. Defensive tactics is good because defensive tactics gives us feudalism, which is the next step that we need. Because then that we can look at all three of these. And plus gives us another governor, which means that I can start looking at getting another city. Um, Theatre Square is an interesting choice. Commercial hub as well, because that gives us more gold. Uh, the library would be really interesting as well, because that does boost science massively. Um, I'll look at that because we also have, uh, since we're the suzerain of Anshan, um, we do have uh, library buildings for three envoys, so we'll look at the, getting the library. Governor title, who do I want as the governor for... Um, do, 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 do. Mm. Oh, I can look at promoting people as well. Hmm. Where are you based in Guangzhou? Yeah, we'll promote you. Um. Uh, and I think actually there's one more I wanted to do. Where's my governors? Yep, so that and remote science. Well, science. Well, actually, no, I did want to. No, I did want to get one more, which is brightness point. And you can go to Handan. And the main reason for that is because that all of our trades will start coming into Hondan as the main source. That will be the main reason for that. And sorry if the uh, image flickers because I do go off on and off my screen a bit as I check other things. But my screen does flicker whenever I do that. It's annoying. I mean, another settler now would not be a bad thing, because then I can put them here. Or maybe even here. Or here. Here. Um, Hunter needs more housing. That's fine. That's going to be fixed when Magnus gets assigned there. Because they'll get plus four housing and plus two amenities. As a result of the audience chamber. Um, I don't know anyone that has any iron though. Like, we don't have iron here, which is the unfortunate thing. But we're starting to grow quite nicely. Yeah, so Handan now has no issue with amenities and housing. That's not an issue because of the audience chamber. Wow, it's already been like two and a half hours since I started streaming. Jesus. 
God, how time flies whenever I play this game. The reason why I'm happy with playing it, with um, Haven not working. Chill vibe. Hell's yeah. Um, do monument for extra. That library at 24 is actually really good. A, another trade. I was going to buy a trader. I was thinking maybe purchase. Uh, or do I want to purchase a settler? How much is a settler? 1600. Trader 790. So I can get the trader next turn. Cause, or do I want to buy a builder? How much is a builder? 790 as well, right? Um. Builder would not be a bad thing because then I can get the Colossus done. And then come over here for the copper. But I did want the other trader. Hmm. No, I think I'll still I think I'll still do this. Because I'll buy the trader next turn. Uh, and now what I can do is I can put my archer out even further. Uh, do, do, do. We'll buy a trader. Um, you are going to go into Anshan, which is... Oh, I mean, that's 10 gold. Hmm. No, we're going to Anshan. Yep. So, like, putting a, a city here would not be a bad thing either, because then we get the deer bonus resource, we get sugar luxury resource, we can get these olives eventually as we expand out. Um... We are just going to be on alert here. Um, what else can we build here? Do we want to build the harbour here? I think a harbour here would not be a bad thing either. Or do we want to build a commercial dis hub? Commercial hub doesn't help at all. Theatre Square? Theatre Square does help. It does help quite a bit. We'll go for the theater square because that's going to help boost our um our civics and our culture shut up alexander the lord made us all out of iron then he turns up the heat to forge some of us into steel all righty Buttress, I think, is the next one we want to look at, or engineering. Engineering would be good for the aqueduct because... Actually, no, because a lot of stuff I have is not near fresh water. Um, yeah, because it has to be near a river, lake, oasis, or mountain. Okay, we could make that work. Um, if it's, I don't have any geothermal physics, but machinery does help because that means I can start upgrading things into... Oh, and a kill work is funny. I think it's built on a coast, which I'm going to have plenty of as well. Military tactics. Uh, that's not going to help me. Apprenticeship will. Apprenticeship, I think, is the correct one because then I get the industrial zone. And that's going to help me with production. Because this now can, um, because what we'll probably do is we'll build an industrial zone here instead of a campus. Because this can, we can start building a whole bunch of wonders around here as well. Invincibility lies in the defense. Defensive tactics. What have we got? Plus six city defense strength, plus five city range strength. 
100% productive towards defensive buildings. Uh, we'll do that. Bastions. Oh, do we still want to do unit maintenance? Nah, that's fine. I'm not too worried about our cost of unit maintenance now. We get another governor as well, uh, which will help. We'll, we'll have them, but we won't assign them. Or we could probably just level one up as well. Uh, the next civics. We don't want to do mysticism because we're not doing theology because... Yeah, it doesn't help me. It gives me an envoy and then that gives me... Yeah, I don't need these... Um, feudalism might help because then I can look at medieval fairs and then I can look at angle I can look at this one oh do I actually know I want to look at because you know, there can be yeah I've got plenty of room for that um, mercenaries doesn't help, so... Civil service, it is. Or feudalism. No, we don't need feudalism. The civil prestige is good as well. Oh, feudalism actually does also work, as newly trained builders gain two extra build actions. Oh, no feudalism. Um, do 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 do... Settlers do not reduce the population because I'm doing a settler here. No, oh, Protestantism is now on the rise. Good to know. Alright, I think we might take a break here. Going for about two and a half hours in the game. Uh, you enjoy the chill, casual vibes. Um, I'm just gonna go stretch my legs, run a bit of some ads as well, even though I only get like five cents from them. Um, and then yeah, we'll come back and we continue. I'm enjoying this, it's nice, comfy and casual. I hope you guys are also having a nice, comfy, casual evening or morning, wherever you are. Um, we'll be back in a couple of minutes, so enjoy.
Ah, all right. Hmm. We are back. Ah, I'm just gonna lounge back in my chair. Again, it's nice, comfy, and cozy, so. Eh. Lean back. Lean back. Alright, what are we up to? Hopefully, watching our little civilization grow. Um. Next thing is we're going to get a builder just to do some improvements. I don't think that we're going to um, so I just got some messages on my phone. I don't think we're going to be able to get like six farms built. But having the um the do, 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 builders get two extra bonus actions is really good uh, for what we want. You want 30 of my diplomatic power to give me 60 horses, one gold, but I also give you open borders. Tell you what, the 60 horses is not a bad trade. 30 diplomatic power I can get back pretty easily. And now we have 60 horses. We have horses. Aha! Now, so this is where we can do this, is because now I can get 6 or extra gold because I don't need the horses. And I can be on a joint war with Alexander. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, let's do it. I'll create a hundred grievances. Yeah, he's looking like he's going to expand out and he's going to um, start trying to take over places. Yeah. Alright. Good job. Who survived that encounter? Yeah, you're gonna lose your great general, mate. You can say goodbye to your scout. Don't worry, Anshan, we've got to protect you. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome to the comfy casual Civ 6 stream. <laughs> yeah, run away, you coward. I'm trying to start a war with my goddamn city states.
Um, do, 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 do. We do need to start looking at a military. Conquered a lost city. Okay. Alright, well, I can start probably building a way to probably start taking some of his cities down, but mainly just in defensive. Yeah, just be on alert. Be on alert for Alexander and his goddamn forces as he arrives. get my oh look you came back you are going to lose your great general eventually if you keep doing this so I'm gonna have no trouble shooting you from here Your funeral. Don't like that the horses got killed. The horses had nothing to do with it. it. Was the person riding the horse that I had problems with? Oh, and your spearman, really? Yeah, this still doesn't present a problem. Um, if they get close, it might. But let me just think. What promotions do I have available? Oh, hells yeah. I'll take range strength. Any day of the week. Like, his armies are going to have to constantly, like, they're going to hit the wall, which is our archers. Uh, hey, the theater square. That's uh, not near us. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we could probably look at building ancient walls. That would not be a bad, I bad idea. The builder is also not a bad thing as well. Is there anything I really want to? Do? Um, maybe a heavy chariot or just spearmen? Are they anti cavalry? Like archers are probably still a good thing. What can I purchase with how much money would I need? Uh, archers being 720 is not bad either because then I can just buy one here and just move it into range. Because I really don't want to take the offensive to him. I really just want to be on the defensive. I think the builder is the safe option. Um, enjoy. <clears throat> I've also got the river between me and him as well, which means that his uh, his units can't cross very easily. Yep, get into protection of your city. 
I'll cover you. Uh, well, I'm gonna get rid of his goddamn great general. Because that will be an absolute moral um, detriment. Stand strong, Anshan. We've got you. My word, is that a retreat? I wonder why. Yeah, have some arrows on your way back. I wonder if I can move forward and get him. They might be able to kill him. If they don't, then I'm not going to be able to kill him as he At retreats. Oh, the Colossus. the Colossus of 70 cubits high, representing the sun. The artist expended as much bronze in it as seemed likely to create a dearth in the mines. Colossus of Rhodes. Hells yeah. Um, we're gonna change city. You're gonna go to Hundan. Um, well, I'm gonna say that your spearmen are gonna be absolutely mullered. Enjoy. Um, what are we gonna produce here? Um, do we wanna build a campus? That was an idea that I had. Commercial hub's not gonna help. Theatre square, not really gonna help either. Encampment, meh. An entertainment complex would be interesting. Um, I don't think I'm going to need to buy any of them. Is there any wonders I can build? No. Yeah, there's no location I'll be able to build this anyways. Um... Do I want to bring out... Yeah, we need to get cartography so we can go further out. We don't have iron, we don't have horse, that's fine. Um, I think a quadrumane would actually not be a bad idea. Uh, what is my tech tree looking like? Where's my cartography? Build two harbours. Okay, that's fine. That's going to take a while anyways. Uh, what would be a very quick thing to build? Do we want a quick thing? To want to go for the? I think the campus is the correct choice. Yeah. For science. Always for science. You fool. Um. In the trade route there. I can move down here. And I can keep an eye out. Hells yeah. is in a craft where no one ever becomes a master. Um, 
Alright, so we got apprenticeship, so we're engineering is also very good. Because then we can look at machinery, and I can probably get machinery very quickly too. Because owning three archers is not too difficult for me. And something I might look at doing soon anyways, because I might start assaulting. Um Alexander, if he keeps this up. So there's my builder. Um, do, 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 do. I wanted to grab that. Um... Need a higher population to get more, which is fine. Yeah, we do not have iron still. But we can get like two more archers. Like we can quickly build archers, and I think we might look at doing. Oh, do we want to go for the? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mind. Just got to remind him exactly what he's doing and who he's up against. This one I might need to retreat on. Because he can do a lot of damage with them. Um, actually no, we're going to stay on our ground. If need be, I can just buy another archer and bring him forward. I mean, if you don't want to stand there and just fortify them until... Because I'm going to do more damage than you can fortify them with. I'm happy with that. Okay, that's what we're doing. Um, from Hyundai, we are going to go into... Uh, yes. Uh, do we want to do that? Or... I think this is the safer option. bring the builder over. The main reason why is because we'll obviously have uh, our new city that we're going to be forming soon and we want to be able to uh, upgrade it. I'm going to be building it I believe here. Exercise zone of control. Um, what am I going to do here? Library? Monument would be good too. We'll do a quadrimate here yeah, too. to do an archer that would be funny um no i think yeah there's there's no like i can only like go out this way and there's there's not 
anything really. The library, I think, is more important. Again, for science. We're gonna go for a scientific victory, I think. I think that's where we're gonna be strong in. So we'll go for that. One man's magic is another man's engineering. Fantastic. Um, the technology tree we're looking at now is machinery. So then we can get crossbowmen. Got him. Come to the front lines, young man. We will need you. Um, we could build an aqueduct, but that's going to get rid of the stone there, which we don't want to do. Oh, Machu Picchu. I think this is, well, that's what I'm looking for, right? Yep. Hmm. I mean, that's actually just worth it because of the extra gold that we'll get. Um, just by default. Be on alert. Because we'll get a couple more. Um, do, 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 do. What's the builders going to do? Um, go sleep. I don't need you to do... Oh, no. Hang on. No, you need to come... Reno. Um Our people have chosen to create a city. Fine. Um what are we gonna be building here? Uh granary is the first thing they're building. Uh, we'll also get a governor soon that we will need. Uh, the other thing, though, though we're going to be buying... That's my machinery knowledge. Alright, so you're going to come down here for a plantation because that's going to help with the amenity problem. Uh, you are going to come onto the front lines as well. Where's my other archer? God, you're taking your time. Come. I need the three of you on the front lines. Presentation? Oh, you want one of my turtles for one gold per the yeah, no. Bugger off. <laughs> not happening. <clears throat> Just not happening. Oh, barbarians have come very close to, to us. I like when that happens. Free gold. Free experience, too. Uh, you're gonna go to the deer. Someone has built the Terracotta Army. Interesting. Um, 
Um, you can go here and rest for a bit because you've only got one build left. What are we gonna do with? It? I'm gonna move you forward. And I'm gonna finish off the barbarians. Someone's built the Oracle. Exactly what I wanted to hear. Uh, you can be on alert. You can go and clean that up. Make your way to the middle. And then the three archers are going to sit there and going to start potentially raining hellfire down on Greece. I'm oh, sorry, Alexander the Great. I don't know if you want to call him Macedon, Macedon technically. Oh, uh, Great Admiral. Awesome. Um... Our civilization. When I build a navy, you can help inspire them. That camp's fairly close by. Alright. Well, look what we're guessing. Yeah, guess what we're dealing with. I, mean, I could probably just get more. Probably just buy another one. Like a spearman, right? They're anti cavalry. They're not going to be the best for it. Let's bring one of my archers again. And just take them out. I think we're going to start attacking Dion soon. Mainly just to show Alexander what happens when you start to try and declare war on my goddamn city-states. Gotta teach him a lesson. I'm a very, very peaceful person until you piss me off. Remember that people break down oh, and I've got a crossbow in units now. Sweet. Fantastic. Well, guess who's getting an upgrade? Then all my archers back in. Get them all upgraded. Um. <laughs> yep. Uh, do, 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 do. Printing we can't do at the moment. Uh, stirrups we could look at doing, but we don't have. Fe we will get the feudalism one, which will be interesting because then we can start getting that. Um, build an aqueduct would be interesting. Hmm. Buttress, I think, is the the next best one for me though, because cartography is good. Um, I'm gonna hold off my envoys for the moment, because we do want to get cartography, because I do want to explore other um continents. Uh, 750. Yeah, I'm more than happy to do that. I think Alexander's tuck, got his um, tail between his legs now at the moment anyways, and if he does try anything, then the archers can still hold him off. Let's just deal with these pesky barbarians, though, whilst we're here. I suppose I can put my builder over to look at Machu Picchu, right? He's got oh, he's got one build left, right? Um, no, we'll keep him here because then you know if one of the tiles expand out, then he can do either the luxury resource or the fish. Uh, so you can just be on alert.
Oh, you, you guys are dealing with it? Hells yeah. Actually, yeah, they're gonna deal with it. Awesome. Leave that to the city-state. We have uncovered a way to increase our farming output. To tap into this potential, I suggest we try to maintain two adjacent farms to each plot of farmland. With the advance of feudalism, feudalism. Of iron um, hmm. no, that's fine for the moment. Uh, civil service. Actually, no, I was going to move that up so he can guard here whilst I wait for my other archers to level up. Oh my god, they've got a catapult. Hells yeah. <laughs> Archers getting sick and tired of being beaten up by Alexander. They've got a catapult to defend themselves. Um, what are we going to do here? Industrial zone is going to be very good. Let's get ourselves an industrial zone. Um, what are we doing here? We are going to build... Oh. Yeah. Figured. Um, do we want to build a siege tower? What catapult? I mean, we could build a catapult ourselves so that way we could lay siege the siege tower works as well no, but we're not using our uh, melee the catapult would be really good because that means we can just do a ton of damage yep let's do it Again, I'd like to quote that Alexander started this. He's gonna get what he gets coming to him. He's not gonna like it. It's gonna be very painful for him. Overcometh, will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. A people's discovery means we can regulate the flow of rivers, even in a severe flood. We now have the ability to construct the dam district. Oh, yeah, we don't have any rivers. Um, cartography would be good. Education would be good too, because that gives us the university. Mm. And the University of Sankor as well. Military engineering though is something that we are very interested in looking at. Because we also will look at the aqueduct eventually. Because NITA will be very useful for me. Because that can give me potentially a resource here. There might be resources for NITA here. 
um, which then means that gunpowder is really useful for me compared to like iron and I mean, we can probably still get iron because I know that there's an iron deposit um, here and I'm not afraid to potentially uh, ransack Alexander's stuff for it. I like this song. We might do this for another like half an hour. Uh, we'll get to like the four hour mark and then we'll have a look. Um, at um, swapping games. to say, God, I hope that wasn't the Machu Picchu. Oh, Sandwood City. Oh yeah, we can upgrade one more, and then we might start the assault on Dion. I say we're going to start the assault with two crossbowmen, see how that works. Um, oh yeah, you're going to give me 13 gold? Hells yeah, I'm not complaining. That's like an extra 50% on top of my gold output already. Ah, Anshan has had its trading post done, so... Where do we want to go to next? Just go back there because it's extra food and um oh we should have done the training post there because that one hasn't got a training post yet that's all right eagles fly the turrets round and seem to flaunt the sky they eye those walls now crumbling in decay and scarce from quiet rest their destined prey. In Machu Picchu. The taxpayer. That's someone who works for the federal government, but doesn't have to take the civil service examination. Um... Yeah, no, I think I'm quite happy with what we've got here. Uh, military training is obviously the next best one. 
Um, there is no more wonders I can build for now. Since I've got 10, do I want to go for the commercial hub? I think so. Oh, actually no, do I want to go for the industrial zone? Hmm, I can't build the yeah. harbor. I think the harbor will also be really good. No, the harbor is what I need to build next because I want to get the... Um... After military engineering, I want to get cartography. And that's going to help me with that. <laughs> Hello. Did you have a good nap? <laughs> I'm assuming you fell asleep. Yes, bring bring the catapult. No, not yet. Waiting for you to come back, and then I'll do the link quickly. Uh, send the link again, though. Because it's buried. So I can just do that now quickly. Since you're here. Oh, he's an old he's gone to autocracy. Interesting. Thank you. I had a feeling it was going to be Pizza Tail. <laughs> I do. It's going to be slow progress, but it will be progress. I kind of wish I was had the catapult available. It's only seven turns away, though. We're beating up Alexander the Great because he declared war on one of our city-states. I'm not happy with him, so I'm taking it to him.
those who in quarrels interpose must often wipe a bloody nose. Um, what are we going to do here? What's our civics tree going to look like? Mercenaries is interesting. Uh, but we'll go look at naval tradition, I think. Oh no, medieval fairs. Hells yeah. I am a weeb. Lap two? Question mark? Great news. Our accomplishments have propelled our civilization into a golden age. Alcos. During... Put this on and then we'll go back to my one. Blast. Build. Battle. Military engineering. Alright, we have a gold... We're in the golden age. Inquire. Eureka has provided an additional 10% of technology costs. Commercial hub and harbor districts. Gold adjacency bonus provides science as well. Free inquiry. It has to be free inquiry. Um, education, I think, is the, is the correct choice. We need to go for that. Um... As much as I think the promotion would be good, I think we just need to attack. Uh, so we're now in a position where we can attack and conquer. I don't really have a say in this Congress. Don't really care too much. Yep, cool. I have the most diplomatic- I have the second most diplomatic power. Which- or third most, sorry. Which is fine. Um, alrighty. What we're gonna do is we're gonna range attack. We're going to destroy it and then we're gonna conquer it. Come on, I need a range. I need something non-range to get in there. When's my catapult? When's my catapult ready? 18 turns. Bah. Hey. Thank you for those choices. I like them. Uh, where's my... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring him in. <laughs> I'm gonna bring in my lone scout, because my scout can conquer it. 
I'm very certain they were able to. Yep, oh, here comes the here comes the catapult. I suppose what I could probably do with this crossbowman is go and start attacking Alex and Dredder. What are you doing? No, come here. Get over here. I say, is that a free builder that you've just left out in the wild? Why would you do such a thing? Come here, builder. I'm gonna keep attacking so I can just reduce its HP until my um, scout gets in. Because I'm very certain my scout can go in because it's a melee. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, what? Nice try there, Alexander. Nice try. Travis down. It is garrisoned with a unit, so it's going to do less damage, but it's still going to eventually do damage. Again, my catapult's on its way. I could probably enlist Anshan for it. But two, bugger off. Can you stop trying to cheapskate my goddamn turtles? military thank you thank you for the military I appreciate that this is now mine right get over there Shop would be good. Oh, you can't um, improve upon. Fine then. Ooh, Niter. Okay, well we know where Niter is now. Do I have any here? Of course not. I have no fucking strategic resources on my goddamn peninsula. Rude. 
Thank you for your city. Yeah, if they're streaming when I'm done. We are losing loyalty in one of us. We have taken a new city into our civilization by four. Um, do we want to keep the city or raise the city? <sighs> We're going to take that city away. It does not exist anymore. Oops. Sorry about that. I suppose we better continue our pathway and plan onwards, shall we? Um, Mr. Builder, you're gonna go over here. Um, and Scout, you're gonna heal up. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. Okay, okay, we are not doing this. Uh, promotion. Yeah, range of strength against uh, industry and defenses, that's fine. Um. What's on the TV? Oh, hells yeah. didn't just try to do that to me, did you? Right. Well, fine then. Great. Fortify. Batten down the hatches, it's time that we're at war. And boom. Yeah, 
You made a big, big, big snake. Rude. We're just going to stay here for a bit. We're going to fire. Upon them. I am not deterred. We will win this battle. Stop trying to kill my goddamn catapult. an easy way I can solve this. That's the easy way that we can resolve this, is that we're no longer at war with each other. Now that we're no longer at war with each other, I'm probably going to use some gold and leverage him. I don't think I can unless I'm the suzerain, right? I could probably be the suzerain. Uh, let's see. The suzerain of the city can pay 1260. Okay. Awesome. Let's save up some more monies. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're good to bring him back now. Are you good to bring him back now? Ow! Why? Work. Offer a peace treaty to Alexander here.
Because I'm going to lose the fight against these guys. I did fight. Did you see how much I decimated one of your cities? I think we're going to call this here for this part. Save it here. Um, and we're going to swap over to Phoenix Wright, I think. This is a nice casual game, but also because, yeah. Playing too much of this at a time can actually just drain me as well. So, had a lot of fun doing that. So, let me just 